Hey guys, Kusha here with Exoscribe TV, and today I want to talk to you about what causes muscle cramps. So for those of you that are active and work out or, or play sports, you probably had a muscle cramp uh, at one point or another. And if you want to understand really how this happens and how to prevent it, you need to understand a couple things. The first being is that you have two major reflexes uh, that help prevent uh, injury to the joints in the body. One is your muscle spindle reflex. And so basically, this, uh, this prevents hyperextension. So for example, you know, if you accidentally do a bicep curl and the joint hyperextends, then it will have a reflex because it, uh, it will sense the tension on that muscle. And the reflex is to shorten and tighten the muscle to protect it. Uh, so that's why if you've ever overstretched a muscle, it'll always want to tighten back up and shorten as a result. That's the muscle spindle working there. The other one's the Golgi tendon organ, which actually prevents muscle contraction. So they both kind of balance each other out. The Golgi tendon organ will kind of shut things off and the muscle spindle will turn things on. So what happens is when you get fatigued and you're working out, your muscle spindle reflex increases. So your ability to contract or, you know, hyper contract increases and your ability to turn muscles off and control muscle contraction with your Golgi tendon organ decreases. So if you think about a sport like basketball, if you're running around playing basketball and you start to get muscle cramps in your calves, it's because of the fact that, you know, you're starting to become fatigued. And when you're under fatigue, that Golgi tendon organ, that ability to control that muscle contraction in the calves is, uh, is being diminished. While at the same time, you know, you've been telling the brain to contract the calves because you're running on your feet the entire time. So when you start to be depleted in certain minerals, what happens is you start to get that hypertonicity. You get that muscle contraction, you get that cramp. And, that, and sometimes that's even manifested as Charlie horses. Uh, when we think about things like Gatorade, Gatorade is actually very ineffective and doesn't work because if you think about Gatorade, Gatorade isn't doing the right thing for what your muscle cells need. Your muscle cells need to maintain a, a certain balance of intra and extracellular fluid and minerals. And when you sweat, you're depleting water, but you're retaining salt in the, in the muscles and in the cells. So when you drink Gatorade, you're, you're not really uh, helping the osmolality. You're not really helping basically the mineral balance. And, and if anything, you're actually you know, throwing your body out of balance and not helping it hydrate or prevent these muscle cramps. It's actually not doing anything for your muscle cramps. Um, and it's interesting if you look at any you know sports event or game. If you see the athletes on the field, pay attention. Look at what they're drinking and spraying on their heads. They're holding Gatorade cups and bottles, but it's water. They're not drinking Gatorade, which is an interesting thing. But the other thing to think about too is you know your things like your calves are much more more vulnerable because muscles like that cross two joints. So those types of muscles are much more likely to engage in muscle cramps or or be susceptible for muscle cramps. So to prevent it, I would recommend compression shorts or you might have seen these compression sleeves. You can put on the calves, uh, those things can kind of help with recovery and prevention uh, by increasing tissue temperature. And, uh, and also you're going to want to stay hydrated with the right amount of uh, electrolytes from things that are natural, like I like coconut water because it has the right balance of potassium and sodium, and it will help maintain the proper intracellular and extracellular fluid balance. So there you have it. There are some tips about how to avoid muscle cramps. Thanks for tuning in today to Exoscribe TV. See you soon.